One of the intriguing aspects of the Osabo River is its long, rich history. I think it's, it has a quiet, subtle beauty like no other river I've ever fished. Trout's a trout the world about, really. You know, you, so you're, you're after the same critter, it's just a different scenery here. You know, here things are much more intimate, everything's in your lap. I think the caring about the river and actually caring about fishing doesn't come to later in your life when you, you've been at it and you understand uh, you know, what, what that river is really about. Ooh. Here, you know, you're not so much fishing as you are hunting. The best salmon fly hatch I've ever seen is one tenth of the biomass of a hex hatch. Jesus Christ, look at the bugs, man. This is, this is biomass of epic proportion. This is not small time shit. Get him over here, you got two X on. You want the best of what the Asabo has to offer. You have to be out late. Something just ate down there. The bug life is just so fantastic on this river. It's really what drives the fishing. Pretty complex hat. All of a sudden, it's not uncommon for guys to be wearing the same shirt three or four days in a row, smelling like deep when they show up for work. The big trout in the Osabo River is hungry for about 22 seconds every third day. That's it. He says, oh, I'm hungry. Chop, he's not hungry anymore. It's important to us as human beings, to we as human beings, to, to have places that are clean and pure and good and wild. I have a lot of concerns about, about the health of the river. Anglers was started in, in 1987 by Rusty Gates. Most of them are not short term. The Asabo has had a lot of what I call polarizing times. And it started uh, over gear restrictions. And it was, it was awful. It was really, it was an unpleasant situation. You know, is fly fishing only truly a conservation measure? Um, some people would say certainly it is. He was very, very sick. He started us on a path because he knew he was going to die. And he was a great fellow. He could be a little cantankerous and he often rubbed people the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. He looked at me and said, it's all good. Those were his last words. I love eating on the river, it's awesome. I mean, you can eat like a hot dog out on the river and it's like, oh man. They will definitely point out all your flaws as a, as a presenter of a fly for sure. Wow, that fish poked a lot of water. You can come here for a week and, you know, not, not see a fish in the teens. Well, it's a pretty river, but there aren't any damn trout in it. Well, i got news for you, there are lots of trout in it. If I was hunting really big fish, I'd be in Michigan. Seems like a good Hendrickson day, but uh, I've been wrong before. Well, There's 1954, a big one. that uh, George Mason uh, planted the seed of Trout Unlimited. But let's stop stocking the river. Let's stop dumping fish into it. Let's take care of the resource which really, in my mind, launched the modern era of conservation of the Asabo. Nothing better than sitting on a log in the middle of the river. We bought the business in April of 1970. I think, how did I ever do it? <laughs> I wanted to be proud of my product. I wanted to say, I did that. Other than the river itself, these boats, in my opinion, they are the history. Everybody has a right to enjoy the river, but they do not have a right to abuse it. I don't know how we get there from here, but we're not there yet. The river you see today is, is uh, the river you'll probably see in 15 years, and that's because a lot of people are, are going to make sure it stays that way. <laughs>